Dear students, we are exactly 10 days away from the NEET PG exam and a couple of hours back the NPS sent the mails and the messages telling the cities where you will be appearing for your exam and for a, a good number, for a good percentage of you that city is thousands of kilometers away from where you live. Now it's of course a ridiculous thing. Uh, this shows that not only our authorities are inefficient and inept but they don't really uh, care a bit uh, about what, what is going on with the student. 10 days before the exam when the student should be focusing only on one thing and that is revision and studies, they would be forced to take care of all these logistics, book a ticket, how, how is anybody going to book a train ticket 10 days before the exam is a huge question. Where will they live? How will the parents accompany? All those logistic things now you have to take care of. And if you're angry, if you're frustrated, if you're using the choicest of uh, choicest of words for these officials, I don't blame you. Said that, I see that even this thing can be taken as an opportunity to give a further push to your studies. Let me explain how. NEET PG examination this year has been a never ending circus. Postponement, preponement, changing the pattern of the exam and now this center nonsense. It is just going on and on. And these people have been harassing you, have been playing hide and seek with your mental peace. And, and I mean, just to put everything together, it's, it's just a ridiculous show going on. I want you to tell yourself that You want to take away the power from these officials to mess with you. If you study hard, if you study very hard, if you get a good rank and if you move to the other side, finally you would be out of the clutches of these officials who have been frankly harassing you for last 10-12 months. If for nothing else, you have to push yourself very hard in studies because you want to get rid of all this nonsense that has been going on and which appears to be never ending. <coughs> Second thing, can 10 days really make much of a difference? The answer is an unequivocal yes. I'll give you a small example. Recently in Cerebellum, we took a mock test and those who are following cerebrum know this, that that mock test was heavily PYQ and PYT focused. And despite that, a good number of students, in fact, the majority of students made silly mistakes. Why am I pointing out this? Can you improve concepts in a particular subject in 10 days? The answer is perhaps no. Can you start a subject from scratch and complete it in 10 days? Definitely no for bigger subjects. But can you improve your grip on PYQ substantially in these 10 days? The answer is yes. 10 days is a good enough time to improve your grip on PYQs and also to revise things that you could not get time to revise. So 10 days is no less time. Don't underestimate the utility of 10 days, especially right before the exam. I don't need to remind you what you guys used to do one night before your professional exams. You could revise half of surgery and half of medicine in that one night. So if you could do that, here we have got 10 days. And also, it's important to use these 10 days in an efficient manner because the game that NEB has played is definitely going to impact you mentally. You will be forced to, you know, look after all these logistics, you know, uh, booking the tickets and planning your travel and planning your stay. And it is going to take time. At the same time, you will spend a lot of time in that phase of, you know, for frustration where you will feel angry and frustrated. And that is also going to be very important because, you know, for studies, you have to be in a frame of mind. And if you go into that frame of mind where you are frustrated and angry, you cannot study. So we have to remind ourselves that things are not in our favor. Things are really messed up. At the same time, we would not lose school. Maintaining your cool in difficult situations is a superpower. And if we can develop it, 
it is going to serve us very well whatever abuses you want to say to these people whatever frustration you want to vent out do it but after that keep a smile while booking all these things because that is the only way of minimizing the damage these people have been trying to inflict upon your studies they don't care they are middle aged officials who have forgotten how to prepare for exams or what it takes to crack an exam or maybe never they, they never did it but the stakes are very high for you you cannot end up wasting time doing all these things more importantly you cannot allow these people to disturb the peace of your mind so my dear students things are unfair but you know then life is unfair life has always been unfair in future also you'll find things which you'll find a lot unfair but we have to make the best out of the situation so let's not let's not spend too much time writing things on twitter writing things on instagram or writing things on telegram group it does not help us things are not going to change but what we can definitely do is get out of this 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 hole this rabbit hole and you know move to the other side where at least you don't have to face these issues at least for the next 3 years right so it's important to keep our calm it's important to net not allow our uh, the preparation to go wayward it's important to use the remaining days properly it's important to remember that the race is not over until it is over and it is also very important to remember that we have to take this thing to the very end so keep studying just 10 days left these 10 days are important they can have a significant impact in your final scores you can get 10 more questions correct if you use these 10 days properly and i don't need to tell you what what kind of a difference that will make your final rank if you get 10 more questions correct stay calm stay attentive stay focused it's okay these people would not matter to you 10 days from now all the best may god bless you all